to the last game that they were going to have some time off, wanted to you know, have them come back fresh. Have you seen a different level of freshness in this game since you guys have been back on the field? Yeah, it's a good mindset. Good mindset. The, the idea was to give, them, to give them some real, the freshness, uh, to think about something else, to think about uh, something, else, something else than uh, football, soccer. Because we've been behind them all the time, giving them a lot of information and so on and so on. And I believe that uh, as a human being, you need uh, to rest your brain. So this is what they did. Some of them, but uh, yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy uh, that they deserve it, that this is good also for the future. What about rest for the coaching staff? Were you guys able to recharge a little bit yourself? Yes, yeah, really important. Uh, because again, we are, the difficult part in our job is uh, we, we want to control everything, but we cannot. And sometimes emotionally it's difficult. So the more I'm getting older, the more that uh, uh, freshness also for us is really important. Does not mean that uh, we work hard, we work really hard, but does that mean that we we relax all the time? No, we work really hard, but at the same time, to be able to be able to be efficient, to be good also on the pitch, to have a clear mind, to have uh, good ideas and the creativity about what we want to do, to try to figure it out, freshness is really important. So I. Stuff, it was the same also. You spent some time, considerable time, on the training pitch the day before your Open Cup game two weeks ago, helping to uh, get players who maybe were not as familiar with one another comfortable. Then we saw your rotation the next night in that win against Indianapolis. Do you feel as compelled in this game tomorrow night? to help with the relationships of the players you're gonna be putting on the field? Mm -hmm. Or do you feel like you've made more progress in those two weeks where maybe the guys that you choose to use will be comfortable? I, I would say we, we um, since the beginning of the year, we, um, I said to the, to the players that uh, everybody's gonna be on board. And uh, the way we train, this is not only for the US Open Cup, it's gonna be for all the long stretch that we have, um, we need freshness to be able to be good. And uh, what does it mean? It means that I'm going to rotate. I'm going to rotate. I don't know how, how many players, but for sure, in terms of uh, the, the idea is to be able to repeat the style of play that we want to put in place. So for that, we need freshness. So that's why the way we work every day, we like to uh, to shake a bit the boat, I would say, and uh, we put, uh, we mix the team all the time because we, the concept are more, all the concepts are more important than the, 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 the players. So it's all about the relationship between where is the ball, what do we do regarding where is the ball. So for me, this is the most important. And by doing that, after that, our job with the staff is to find a good profile regarding the opposition. So that's why, yes, we like to change, we like to modify, we like to put players in another position because the more they're gonna do it on the pitch, the more they're gonna be confident to be to do it also uh, on the game. So that's why all what you said before, this is the main topic. This is not the players, this is the ball and the concept. This is for me the most important. I just have one last question. Um, Tim Vespachenko joined me on the coverage of the Open Cup game and I asked him about getting Melde Amundsen to the club in 48 hours. And he said, you know, we didn't want to shortchange the process even though we had a, a short window to, to act. He credited um, the technical staff for having a list of players who fit profiles that you're looking for. And they were able to go and find exactly what, what you, he, they thought you needed. But they didn't want to shortchange the process. They had to come to you in the end and say, coach, what do you think? Um, how, how urgent was that window? And, and, you know, what was that like for you when they finally came to you and said, here's, here's what we've got? Yeah, is uh, you know what I've learned in this job is uh, to be comfortable in an uncomfortable situation, mm -hmm. and that's why I would say five years ago I would have been like, uh, how I'm gonna do it? I was like this, but I was more in control with my staff, and uh, and also we did our homework before, 
So the idea is to be clear about the profile of the player that we want, is to be clear also with the structure that we want. So the way it happened right away, uh, all the club were really proactive in terms of uh, trying to looking for few players to help us uh, to replace uh, Mr. San Will. And after that, with uh, our staff, we did uh, our homework uh, in terms of uh, what kind of profile we want in terms of uh, uh, fitness-wise, tactical, technical issues, and so, and so on. So this is more collective work because everybody has been really proactive. And after that, yeah, the final decision, this is, uh, this is me and, uh, and also the front office, obviously, because we work together. But uh, yeah, this is what happened. But I'm, I'm happy about the way everything happened. When you're talking about <clears throat> needing fresh players and fitting a profile for a game, when you have a, a stretch like this one with three games in eight days or whatever, um, how much more difficult does it become to get that when you also have to add in the, the match congestion? The most difficult part is sometimes we want to plan, but this is too difficult to plan yeah. because the game dictates what we need to do. So we have an idea about, let's say, the second game we can give, uh, uh, we can sub, we can plan to sub players around 50 minutes, 65 minutes, 80 minutes, but sometimes you cannot do it. So the idea is to um, to see with the tools that we have in terms of data to see where we are, and also uh, we did also um, our homework to see who as a player and also as a person can sustain uh, the style of play that we want to play. So as you know, everybody is different in terms of personality, but also everybody is different also in terms of resilience. So this is something that we did also before the, the season to see uh, who can sustain um, more and more and more. But uh, yeah, I don't, yes, we have the big picture, the big vision, but at the end of the day, it's all about uh, uh, association with players. It's all about the game, how the game will dictate what we want to do, but I have no problem to change a player at 45 minutes for the second half because uh, we plan for the future or we want to see something different. It could be about the performance, but it could be also because we want to rest this player for the next game. So everything is clear with the players. I know that all of them, they want to play every minute, but again, this is uh, the process that we have to be good and uh, sometimes it's not easy. And again, like I told you, I can change, but sometimes also because I don't know, the game will be the way we want. I can stay also with the same team. So it depends, it really depends. But the idea is a freshness and do we rotate or not depends on what we want. And I asked players about going to a new stadium, but when you go to a lower division stadium, so to speak. You may not know what the pitch is going to be like, the atmosphere, things like that. How, especially on the field, how does that impact what you guys want to do? Because I know you want to play with the ball on the field and, and whatnot, but sometimes the atmosphere dictates you do you do things differently. The, the environment, the physical environment, I guess. Yeah, I love it. I love it because like I, I told my player two days ago, um, it's an infinite game. For me, it's all about uh, how we're going to be able to adjust regarding the, what kind of challenge you're going to face. Mm -hmm. So again, simple tool for me, not easy, but simple tool, stay focused on the task. What do we have to do with the ball, without the ball, and try to control the game. And if we, not, if we cannot control the game, to be resilient and to be strong together to regain this momentum. Doesn't change. Lower division, high division, doesn't change for me. This is, it's easier to think like this because we stay on the process, we stay on the task. This is the way I see it. After the last game, we saw Alex Milos and Steven all seem like they were in pain when they were coming off the field. Are there any concerns with them? Um, you said Alex? Alex Milos and uh, Steven. Uh, Alex uh, is okay. Uh, the fact that we didn't have games, so he was able to... Uh, to uh, to be okay, and uh, Milos, he still has uh, pain a bit, so we'll see uh, for this week. 
and uh, the third guy that you said, Steven. Steven, Steven is a uh, is uh, progressing well, so uh, we'll see uh, if he's going to be able to to help us uh, sell. Okay. okay.